This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. So y'all know I love a good comparison video. And honestly, today's comparison is not really scientific at all, but we may as well do it because I think it's gonna be fun to use Fujifilm's fastest lenses. So today we're gonna be doing the GFX 100S with the 81.7 and also my X-T3 with the 50 F1. Now, I figured since they're both fast and they're about 50 millimeters, this should be a great comparison. I'll be shooting both cameras in JPEG and I'll try my best to match in camera, but here are the settings I'm gonna be using on each camera. So pretty much it's gonna be me and a model. I got my man Preston doing some of the video and let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, come to the center again. Uh, turn a little bit to your side, the other way. Other way. Yeah. And then give me a little bit of hair play. Actually, you know you what? I love, I love that first. Come over to the wall, back on the wall. Yep. Yep, perfect. That's beautiful. Hold that. We got someone in the back. I'm just waiting for him to get out of my shot. The worst part is I'd be trying not to Photoshop stuff too much, but then there's always someone just like, do, do, do. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Here it is. Hold that. Stay where you are, back on the wall still. Uh, same kind of pose, but instead of it being sideways, bring it forward. There you go, yeah. Give me some, I actually like the motion there, so yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, perfect. Um, let's try a walking shot. Let's see if we can compare these cameras as far as autofocus. All right, so I'm gonna come fairly back, go back just a little bit further. Yep, and so when you walk, try to make it like a fun walk, like <laughs> look over this way a little bit while you're doing it, but you can look at me as well. Decent pace, not too fast. Here we go. Perfect, go back, let's do it again. That's good right there, go ahead. Beautiful, perfect, awesome. Let's move locations. Let's take a quick break and talk about this video sponsor, Professional Photographers of America. If you're not familiar with PPA, it is a great platform for education, insurance for your gear, and all kinds of other great services. I've been a member myself since 2015, so basically when I first started my business, I immediately signed up for PPA. My main reasons for doing this was their 33,000 members and education that they offer. Their gear insurance, which can insure you up to $15,000, which is huge. They also recently added full replacement coverage, which is only $350 down. So that is absolutely huge. And also their data recovery services. So as a wedding photographer, if you ever lost any files on an SD card, they could actually try and save those files for you. And that's all just a part of the membership. Seriously, I would not be telling you about this if it was not something that I signed up for immediately when I started my business. It is hands down very important. Make sure to check out the link in the description below for $25 off of your PPA membership and start your business the right way. Let's go ahead and get back into these photos. So I'm gonna have you... Yeah, just kneel down it because I want it to look like, almost like you're standing. Come up just the tiniest bit. 
Yep. And then you do you have a side you consider like your better side? That's perfect. Stand up and come back just a little bit. Hold that there. Yep. Oh my goodness, the GFX 100 every time, man. Um, that's cool, you can come out of there. So I'm gonna have you sit kind of on this left side here, pretty much halfway up the stairs, like pretty far up. Yes. Hold that. See if I can get that bit of sun in there. <laughs> yeah, for talking, I'm over here like leaning there. Yes, that's perfect. Yep, so come back towards the end of the stairs. Yeah, like right there. I'm gonna be down here. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful, hold that. Yes, perfect. Two steps forward. This is mainly going to be like a portrait. Yes, perfect. Uh, let's work our way over that way. Um, are you okay sitting in the window? We're just gonna be on the front end of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same kind of thing, except where you are now kind of looking down at me and then play with your hair just a little bit. Turn your body more if you can. Yeah. There it is. So who do you all think won between the GFX and the X-T3? the 80 or the 50? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description below to save $25 off of your PPA membership. I absolutely love doing things like this, and if you love it yourself, hit that like and I'll make some more in the future. What two cameras and what two lenses do you wanna see go up against each other? And I'll catch y'all next time.